Paul Rusesa Begina, seen here in court in Rwanda last year, is serving 25 years in jail for terrorism. Rights groups and observers say his trial was a sham. Now his family is suing the Rwandan government in the United States for $400 million. The way the Rwandan government has tried to discredit his, his work and his name and all the great things he has done over the, war, over the years um, has hurt us a lot. And we've done everything that we can to continue to stand up for him, to continue to advocate for him and to bring more people um, to add their voices to this campaign. Rusa Sabagino was living in exile in Texas when his lawyers say he was lured back home against his will two years ago. Rwanda's government admitted he was deceived into boarding the plane. His lawyer says he was kidnapped. Last February, the Rwandan Attorney General um, Johnson Busigne admitted that the Rwandan government did this, that it, that it paid for the plane that was used in the kidnapping. Um, and the, in the United States, sovereign countries like Rwanda aren't immune from suit when they engage in acts like torture and kidnapping. Rusesa Begina was made famous by the Hollywood film Hotel Rwanda. Without that shelter, every one of them would have almost surely have been killed during those weeks and months of merciless terror. It told the story of how he saved hundreds of lives as a hotel manager during Rwanda's 1994 genocide. He then fled into exile and became a vocal critic of Rwanda's president Paul Kagame, setting up a foreign-based opposition group. The government has not commented on the lawsuit, but despite the civil case, the 67-year-old is likely to spend the rest of his life in prison. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.